precisely 418.9 miles that way is London, my home, and the largest population city in the United Kingdom. Within it is the Shard at 1,016 feet or 310 meters, and that is actually the largest man-made structure in the United Kingdom, but also in Western Europe. And precisely in the opposite direction, just behind that mountain over there, is Ben Nevis, standing at 1,345 meters, 4,413 feet. It is the tallest mountain in the United Kingdom and therefore the highest natural point. And sitting behind me then, as you may recognize, is my 2007 BMW 760Li with the six liter V12 N73 engine. And believe it or not, what I'm gonna be doing with this car tomorrow is attempting to drive it from just over there, Ben Nevis, all the way to the Shard in London on a single tank of fuel. Now, before we start the challenge, I want to say a big thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video and making the entire thing possible. Have you ever been on the road, perhaps like me, in a third world country like Scotland? Well, then you should be using a VPN. Which VPN? NordVPN. Now, for me being a global sensation, the most important thing is protecting my personal data. See, the thing is, you guys watching this video might think that I actually like you and want to associate myself with you, but that's where you're deeply mistaken. I want absolutely nothing to do with any of you, and therefore NordVPN gives you zero chance of tracking me down. That's because it disguises my IP address, making it pretty much impossible for you to find me. But joking aside, you can use NordVPN on up to six devices, and it allows you to do things such as changing your server location, which means if you're in your home country and there's a show on Netflix that you want to watch that's in the US, for example, you can simply change your server location to the US and access that content. It really is an excellent tool and I can't quite believe I've never used it before. And now NordVPN are offering you a two year plan with one month free for $2.93 a month. And that's two pounds and 93 pence. For less than the price of a single coffee, you can rest assured that your data is protected and unlock access to tons of online content. Moreover, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So why not give it a go now? Use the link in my description and all the code if you're interested. Support this channel and support my excellent sponsors that allow me to make content like this. Anyway, I've been putting it off for long enough. We should probably talk about the journey ahead of us and exactly how it's gonna happen. Okay, so it's the night before just had some dinner outside. It was it was sunny a second ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. As soon as we sat outside, <laughs> Scottish weather came back. I realised I should tell you sort of a little bit about uh, what I've worked out for this trip. So most importantly, obviously we're going to attempt to drive from almost, well, just up the road from here, down to the Shard in London on one tank of fuel. Now that tank of fuel on my 7 Series is 88 litres or 19.357 gallons. And the distance we've got to travel, it depends a little bit on our route. There's a couple of different routes. Let me show you. So if I input our route in now, it comes up with a few different options, but essentially what we're looking at is 518 miles. So obviously tomorrow morning when I put in this route, it may tell us to go a different way, but essentially all the routes down to the Shard from the Esso up in Fort William, which is about two miles the wrong way from here, are about 518 miles. So let's round that up to 520. And based on 520, I will have to average 26.9 miles per gallon for the whole journey. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be, I, I don't know if it's possible, but fingers crossed. I reckon it's gonna to be touch and go. It's gonna to be close. For now at least, we're gonna get an early night. Enjoy this, uh, actually no, I'm going straight inside. It's bloody miserable out here. <laughs> <laughs> also, just before we got back here as well, we went up into town, we got a car wash because uh, I thought that the, the car was completely caked in bugs and dirt and stuff in the past 24 hours or so. So get it cleaned and it's gonna be a slipstream as a 2.5 tonne, five meter barge can be. And also tires. I think the tire pressures are quoted at uh, 34 PSI rear and 32 PSI front. We've gone like three over uh, on front and rear just to slightly reduce drag, hopefully from the tires. Got two jerry cans, 10 liters in the boot of super unleaded should things go badly 
but yeah, it's going to be, honestly don't know if this is going to work. So <laughs> I'm going to go inside now, get some sleep and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Should we drive to London? Yeah. <laughs> right, morning everyone. So today is the day and <laughs> we're going to be going 500 miles down there in a minute. But first, we uh, need to fill up. So our starting point is actually an SO garage in Fort William. As close as you can get to Ben Nevis, um, physically sort of in a car essentially so we're only about two or three miles as the crow flies from the from the mountain at this SO and obviously it means we'll be starting with a completely brim full tank looking at the route this morning on my phone it looks like we're probably gonna go down the east of the country go that way down past I think Carlisle and then actually eventually into Cambridge and uh, oh, that's going to be sort of a sign of the time today, getting overtaken by many a transit. <laughs> Unfortunately though, I've had a look at the wind conditions and we've basically got a 10, 10, 50 mile an hour headwind all the way. And yeah, in terms of weight and stuff, obviously uh, my brother is with me helping me film behind the camera. So we have two people in the car. We do have a couple of jerry cans in the back and you know some clothes for like a two night trip. It is a Sunday, so the traffic should be better than normal but we'll have to see so yeah anyway it's gonna be it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun and I'm, I'm still positively optimistic that we can do this I bloody well hope so because this trip's cost a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> that is the last acceleration of the day here we are pulling into SO the route is set on the map there. Uh, it's saying 530 miles on the uh, BMW iDrive. I'm gonna be going off Waze and or Google Maps. I'll be cross-checking them for the best route as we keep going to make sure we are going the quickest way possible. Right, moment of truth. We are using uh, SO99 Ron Supreme Plus fuel. This is the only place uh, near Ben Nevis with the super unleaded, so this is why we're using this. All right, this is it. <laughs> so, last thing to do, to go into here, and we're gonna go right at the top and just go start reset, and that's it. So like I say, 26.9 is the magic number in terms of fuel consumption. Okay, this is it. I'm gonna go straight away. I'm not gonna wait for anything. Just, let's just go. Now every single thing I do counts. Ah, no, we've already got to wait for a car. I'm gonna try and accelerate extremely gently here. Okay. So currently, on my little screen in front of me, it says range 371 miles and distance 530. Of course, the range calculation is based on my previous driving. And we've been here in Scotland over the past couple of days, flying around some of the uh, amazing roads in Glencoe. So that range will go up as we drive smoothly. But currently, as you can see, fuel consumption is 7.2. So right now we'll make it about as far as Carlisle before we run out of fuel. The other thing we're going to be doing to try and preserve fuel is we're not going to stop at any red lights. We're just going to fly straight through them. Um, Wait, what? Yeah, we're not going to stop at any red lights. We're just going to... That, um, Joel, that's like totally illegal. You can't do that. Yeah, illegal is my middle name. 
if you bring the range right out to 250 or so you can really appreciate how far north we are we're almost on the same latitude as Oslo all the way up here which is pretty cool and in just one sitting quite literally we're going to be going all the way down to, uh, to London Okay, you join us 30 minutes exactly into the journey as I've just been overtaken by a motorhome. How emasculating is that? So, 30 minutes in, and I'm actually pleasantly surprised. We're currently, after 18 miles, averaging 24.9 mpg. And this is actually the probably least economy-friendly section that we're gonna be driving apart from London itself because we're going up and down a lot, lots of changing speed limits, lots of people turning off, so obviously having to slow down, accelerate. But uh, so far, I've literally not had to use the brakes once. I've been any roundabout coming up, any braking point coming up. I've just been letting off early enough so that we're down to a low enough speed, but also as fast as we possibly can, if that makes sense. So we are being overtaken by everything. We're currently doing 42 miles an hour in a 60. Um, and I am accelerating, it's just very slow. <laughs> Essentially, if we get caught up in any start-stop traffic, it's game over, because that will just completely ruin all the hard work. Um, if it's right towards the end in London, obviously if we've got enough left in the tank, then that's gonna be okay, but I think if we get stuck anywhere before the last 20, 30 miles, there's really not gonna be much of a chance of us making this. So being totally honest, I think I've got the short straw here because Jacob in the back. <laughs> How's that for you? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> he literally gets to sit there for the entire time. For you, mate, this is literally, so 10 hours, that's about what? Um, Too long. <laughs> that's like a London to LA in terms of flight time. Uh -huh. So you're literally in business class. Yeah. On your LA, you've got your fridge with your like mini bar and your drinks and your chocolate and, and snacks. You've got your fully flat bed, sort of, <laughs> and you've got a TV. Yep, got a TV here. That's pretty sweet. I can see the uh, the journey time and the. It's it literally is the closest thing on the road <laughs> to like a a traditional BA first class seat. I mean, the visibility is great. I can see all of the front windscreen, all of the windows. <laughs> And the above me as well, so it's pretty pretty good for the scenery right now. So I mean, yeah, really, since my last update, there's nothing else to say other than I think I've counted 35 vehicles have overtaken me now, um, which is probably more than have ever overtaken me in my entire life. 27.4 now. This is looking really good. I said to Jacob that I thought the whole section to Glasgow, I thought we would average about 20, and of course we're not there yet. We're probably maybe 45 minutes to an hour from Glasgow still. But at the moment, 27.4. Coincidentally, as I'm recording this right now, our range on the car has now exceeded the distance remaining. Early days, of course, there's still, well, eight hours or so of things that could go wrong. But for now, at least, I can uh, remain positive that this is actually gonna happen. I just think it's remarkable that if you just put a little bit of thought into how you drive, you can get these sorts of figures from a big six litre V12. Five, over five, 5.2 metres this car, and it weighs over two tonnes. And it's got 450 horsepower if I want it, yet we're currently averaging, well, we're currently averaging about 40, but overall so far, 27.6. Now, the only other thing I didn't speak about, which I'm gonna flag now, is of course, we are going for nine hours or so straight today. And ideally, you don't want to stop because every time you stop, that means you have to accelerate again. However, I have the bladder of a three-year-old, so I don't think it's going to be entirely possible. To, well, it's not because we're an hour and a half in and I'm already feeling like I'm about to wet myself. So unfortunately, 
we'll probably have to stop at least probably twice it's yeah it's going well and the weather couldn't be any better it's unbelievable how lucky we are especially just the, the fact that there's zero wind absolutely zero wind it's not busy we've not been stuck behind anyone apart from one little downhill section um, and yeah 27.6 mpg currently that is unbelievable i really cannot believe i'm seeing that figure in my v12 760 li this is crazy this is crazy but yeah stay tuned fingers crossed things just continue to get better and better station or not a fuel station uh, a, a toilet so let's see if the car can help me I think it's this button here BMW I need the toilet cool story oh huh? can you direct me to the nearest services no <laughs> what I think you're forgetting something. What the f are you talking about? You need to remind your viewers of today's incredible sponsor. <laughs> I see what you're. Uh, and who might that be? NordVPN. NordVPN. <laughs> oh, wait, did I say? NordVPN. Uh, thank you, BMW, for reminding me, but I do now need to relieve myself in the, uh, in the bladder region. So if you wouldn't mind directing me to a service. NordVPN. If you wouldn't mind directing me to a services, that would be absolutely spectacular, please. Okay. So, so that's great, but if you actually could just then direct me, that would be fantastic. Quit complaining. I will run us off the road. <laughs> she's, uh, she's quite disgusting, actually. Disgusting. Fuck you. Wow! Well, hello everyone and good afternoon. The sun is still shining, sort of. It has been raining a lot and it's been getting colder, so I've put a sweater on. I'm not using my heated seats or heated wheel or anything like that, just out of the interest of preserving energy. And the good news is that we've managed to get the average consumption up to 28.5, which is fantastic. I'm very, very happy with that. For some reason, I've uh, encountered a parking brake fault or failure, which is something which is a little bit strange. We took the easterly route in the end, which was a little bit interesting because we basically ended up crossing the Yorkshire Dales, which meant climbing about a thousand feet, which was not great in terms of economy, but obviously what goes up must come down. So we managed to re, re sort of gain um, the averages on the, on the way down. So 28.5, we're currently cruising at about 60 on the A1M. So I'm hoping for a bit more downhill so we can pick up some more speed and get slightly better economy. I'd like to see the average maybe over 29 by the time we get to London. I need to have a power nap. Right, well this is a slight change of scenery. I have, uh, well, well, we're probably about three hours out or so. Yeah. I'm very tired though, so I'm gonna have like a little lie down now. And, uh, then get back on it. But yeah, I can feel myself falling asleep. So uh, be bad. I'll have a little rest.
So we've done seven hours driving, I think. I can't remember. It was, computers it, it, on. it was, I don't think it was seven, it was six. Al almost. Was it? It was almost seven. Tell yeah. you what, let's get the screen up here and pop the uh, ignition on quickly. Journey time, six hours, 42 minutes. We've covered 330 miles at an average pace of 52 miles. That means there's 180 miles remaining. Right. And we've averaged 28.8 thus far. Which is really good. We're, we're in really good shape, actually. What was the range left on the fuel? Do the you remember what it was? The range left roughly? on the car is about 250. So, in theory, like so, you said earlier, just based on numbers, pure numbers that we've got right now, we'll make it. Based on numbers right now, we've got 70 miles of surplus fuel. Yeah. However, that's obviously not predicting the fact that we're going to be potentially in London okay. traffic later on. So, we're going to go for it after this. And there we go. The Shard. This means as well, we've exceeded the BMW quoted range for this car. BMW quotes this 760Li as being able to do 402 miles from its 88 litre tank. We have now done 418 miles. And most importantly, we still have over a quarter of a tank left. This is really quite remarkable. The weather's been really interesting. I haven't really felt too much from the wind. I don't know how, if at all, that's affected us. But my car is saying 152 miles of range left and we have 99 miles remaining. So right now I'm feeling pretty confident that this is going to happen. As said several times now, the interesting thing that I really don't know what's gonna happen is as soon as we get sort of into London, I don't know London that well, certainly not central London, so I'm not sure about our route in, how much of it is going to be stop start and how much of it is just going to be similar to this. So if all goes to plan, in about just under two hours from now we'll be arriving at the Shard on the very same day that we left Ben Nevis, the tallest point in the United Kingdom. This car is just so quiet, it's so comfortable. And uh, yeah, I couldn't think of a better way to travel the length of the country. And if we can do it on one tank, that is gonna be absolutely remarkable. Okay guys, well we have got a little bit of a problem. We're literally 37 miles out. We've got 80 miles of range left. It's predicting it's only gonna take 48 minutes, which implies our run into London is gonna be pretty smooth. However, it's tipping it down and my wiper, well the wipers have stopped working and we're gonna need to, we're gonna need to sort that because I think it's not the end of the world, but if I lose a wiper, it'd be quite tricky to see especially when we're not going fast we are now entering the a406 north circular and officially heading into london i wish the gods would be on our side for just a minute and the rain would stop because this wiper is getting worse and worse and the rain is getting heavier and heavier and obviously as we get slower the wipers are going to be more and more necessary but this is where i've got to really pay attention a to my driving style and consumption but be to where I'm going because I'm actually in really 
unfamiliar territory here and a wrong turn at this point could be the difference between making it and not. Now we've got a red light but it's going green so let's try and move into this lane so we can keep more of the speed. It's going to go red isn't it? No! I'll be totally honest with you guys, I didn't think... I didn't think we were going to get this far actually. I thought we'd probably get about as far as where we are now, if I'm totally honest. And I thought at this point we would be fully out of fuel. But, according to my car here, we've still got about 50 miles of range in the tank. But, let me tell you now, that is going to go down significantly. for this very reason to do this challenge and at the last hurdle I'm being blinded by my own car literally this is unbelievable but I wouldn't have expected anything else to happen to be honest I'm just waiting to be pulled over by the police now as well yeah it's all gonna go wrong if something goes wrong it all goes wrong and there you go as I said that a camera's just died as well it is all going wrong indeed Just go straight ahead, I don't think yours is redirected. It stopped raining. It stopped raining. That's well, good. it's only spitting now. That's good. Everything's gone at me, parking brake failure, fuel reserve. And as you can see, we've just got one wipe working now. Oh my goodness. There's the shard! Oh, there it is! There it is. Oh my god! I can see the shard! <laughs> We're so close. We are literally so close. One we've and a half still, miles. We've still got across the river. This is Tower Bridge. <gasps> and look, wow, there's a view of the, the river on both sides. There's the shard on our right, that's our target. It's so close I can literally touch it. Yeah, things still hang in the balance. It could still all go wrong. I could still take a wrong turn. The range on this car could be lying to me. We could get spotters anytime now, but 
I think we're gonna be okay. Let's just hope. So I'm very familiar actually with some of these spots as a pedestrian, but just not as a driver. And we've got 0.6 miles. This there is right is. by Waterloo Station here. Wow, there's the shard in front of us. Wow. We've just spent 12 and a half hours on the road for this moment. And all of a sudden, it seems very possible. And I'm not making it up here, I'm very tense. I really, I want to, uh, I want to do this, here we go. And I think this A-Class is going where we want to go, so let's follow the Mercedes. 0.4 miles away, and I cannot believe the shard is right there. I really can't. This is it. St. Thomas Street, this is the road. This will take us right along outside the Shangri-La entrance, which is the hotel. And we're so close now that by looking up, I cannot actually see it because the car is in the way. Wow, we've actually done it. Even if we run out of fuel now, we're gonna roll there. This is it, this is the Shard. Yeah, that was it. This is the Shard, right here. There's the Shangri-La, that is the entrance to the Shard. And we've done it with 29 miles of range remaining. Let's go and stop up here behind this white Toyota. And yeah, I can't believe we've done that. I really can't, we've just driven from Ben Nevis <laughs> to the Shard in central London. 517 miles we've just covered. 517 miles. And with the push of the button. We've done it. <laughs> yes. Yes, mate. Nice work. <laughs> well, you did all the driving. <laughs> I can't believe that. 517 miles. Our average in the end was 28.5. So we've only <laughs> lost 0.3 in that last 10 miles or so in London. And I f***ed it up by going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. So we've done 517 miles, 10 hours and 20 minutes on the road at an average speed of 53.1 miles per hour. We started this morning at 9.31 and our time of arrival was just a minute ago at 9.51. So we've been on the road today, Jacob, for 12 hours and 20 minutes. And I have to say, it's worth it. We've done it. <laughs> I can't believe we've we have done it. Did I can't believe we've done it. And we've actually arrived with 27 miles still on the clock. That's insane. And it was 29 when we actually drove past the shard. <laughs> that is mad. Absolutely crazy. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy it's done. <laughs> the Shard, the UK's tallest building, and my V12 7 Series, which this morning we were at Ben Nevis, the UK's highest point in. We have done it in one tank, 29 miles remaining. What a car, what a car. Let's go and have a look at this building. To think this was all done in one day absolutely blows my mind. There's something so surreal and special about traveling from a place of such remote natural beauty to the polar opposite in one city. genuinely cannot quite believe we managed to do it in my six litre naturally aspirated V12 limo. However, I almost feel like a proud father in the fact that we did. Let me say a huge thank you to you guys if you're still watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been a monumental project and I hope to do more things like this in the future. If you have any suggestions for other challenges I can do with any of my cars, please do let me know and give this video a thumbs up. Tell all your friends and get yourself on the road and go up to Scotland because it is stunning. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon.